Angine inatoka kule sio? Hiyo ni chama chetu cha ODM. Sawa sawa. Mko tayari kuingia ndani ya ODM? Mko tayari? Wangapi wako tayari nione mkono hapa? Hiyo ni hii itaendelea hapa kusajili watu sasa tumezindua leo nataka iendelee mwezi huu wote wa Januari Februari mpaka Machi kifika mwezi wa Aprili tutafanya uchaguzi na itaanza kwa polling station na ita unit hapo tutachagua officials na delegates na kutoka pale wanaenda kwa ward wanakwenda kuchagua ward officials kutoka pale kutoka ward officials wataenda sasa kwa constituency yani sub county hiyo ni branch wanakwenda pale kuchagua ma branch officials sawa kutoka hapo wanakwenda kwa county wanachagua officials county alafu sasa wanakuja Nairobi kwa national delegate conference kuchagua officials wa, wa kitaifa sawa 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 mimi nataka hapa chama iwe na nguvu zaidi. Odia mimi na nguvu zaidi. Mko tayari? Mko tayari? Tena wangapi wako tayari nione mkono hapa tena? ODM. 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 Waache mimi vile vile ni kariri maneno ambayo imesemwa hapa juu ya mahakama. Unajua sisi kama azimio kama azimio kwanza mimi naletea nyinyi salamu kutoka mheshimiwa uhuru mgae kinyata mnapokea pili naleta salamu kutoka mheshimiwa kalonzo msioka mnapokea tatu tunaleta salamu kutoka mama matha wangari karoa mnapokea sisi tulienda mahakamani Manake mnaona yale ambayo yalifanyika kule Boma za Ukenya ambayo haikuwa sawa. Bwana Chebukati Chebucheta alitangaza mambo yake peke yake. Walikuwa wale walikuwa ma, ma uh, commissioners saba. Chebukati na wawili walikuwa pande moja. Wanne walikuwa pande moja. Na wengine walisema sio ruto wale walisema ni baba. Sa, na watatu ndio walisema ni Ruto, sio? Tukaenda mahakamani. Tukapeleka kesi yetu mahakama. Na mawakili shupavu ambao walipeleka hiyo kesi. Wakatoa ushahidi ya kutosha. Kuonyesha kwamba sisi hatukushindwa. Kulikuwa na mambo ambayo yalifanyika pale. Alafu sasa e, nani hii mahakama ikaamua ikaamua dhidi yetu tena wakatumia lugha mbaya baza yetu lugha ya matusi atis ye wishful thinking siji nini hot air na hiyo taka 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 yote hiyo sisi tukasema atukukubali na moyo wa muzi lakini tuliheshimu maana yake hiyo ndio sheria hiyo ndio katiba yetu inasema namna hiyo ati muzi ya ya mahakama ni final sisi tuliheshimu tuliheshimu sasa bwana Ruto anasema yeye hata heshimu wa muzi ya, 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 ya. hiyo mahakama ambayo iliweka yeye kule anasema yeye hata heshima sasa makamu yake ameanza kutoa ushahidi bandia huyo naibu yake bwana gachetha alikuwa ameshtakiwa kwa wizi na ufisadi na kulikuwa na ushahidi ya kutosha dhidi yake yeye mwenyewe sasa yeye anaweza kusema anashtaki yule ma, ile ma, 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 ambaye alisema ati ile pesa ambayo aliiba arudishe kwa serikali. Sasa anasema kusema ati huyu jaji ashtakiwe. Kwa sababu ati yeye sasa ni naibu wa rais. Atatoa ushahidi uko mbele. 
hiyo kesi ilitolewa kisiasa hiyo kesi ilitolewa kisiasa maana yake kulikuwa na ushahidi ya kutosha dhidi ya bwana Gachagua na mimi nasema hata hapa siku ya leo ya kwamba Gachagua has tile kuwa naibu rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya Mr. Gachagua belongs to jail He does not deserve to be a, a, a deputy president of the Republic of Kenya This is how we have lowered our standards Our standards have gone so low It is unfortunate And I just want to give Mr. Ruto free advice Please respect the judiciary If you don't respect the judiciary We will not respect whatever you say We will be justified We will be justified to act outside the constitution because the president himself has said that he is not going to respect the constitution. Secondly, we have also told the judiciary, and I want to actually repeat and support what has been said here, a free advice that has been given to the chief justice, Mother Kome. Please, please, Madam Mother Kome. Don't compromise the independence of the judiciary. They're going to bed with the executive. There's no nothing to be discussed between you and the executive. Just give an order that the judicial uh, rulings must be respected by everybody, including the president of Kenya. This is what you said. If there's supposed to be any, any meeting, then it must be a very comprehensive meeting where all the stakeholders in the country are involved. Members of the political parties must also be present in that discussion. But there should not be any discussion between the judiciary, the executive, which excludes anybody else. That will compromise independence of judiciary, and that is not acceptable. That is unconstitutional. The advice from ODM, Azimio, the Omoja 1K. Munaunga mkono. Munaunga mkono. Azimio la Shibuye. Azimio la Shibuye. Wangai pa naunga mkono nione hapa. Shibuye declaration. No compromise. No negotiations. No negotiations between the executive and the judiciary. As many as the opinion say aye. Aye. As many as the contrary opinion say nay. The eyes have it. Something is happening.